everyone and welcome to another episode of Retro Gamers Half Time. Been away for a little while but we're back with the Sega Mega Drive. This character here is Michael Langebeer. Hello and this character here is Forbes London. Hello. What are you playing Mike? I don't know. Well we're on the language screen for this game at the minute screen. <laughs> Excuse my list but I've seemed to have picked up since the last episode. Uh, so basically got languages on here. This game here is Xeno Crisis. Xeno Crisis. Uh, so far we're speaking to Demand Commander uh, Darius, I think it was. Right, okay. But too fast. <laughs> we seem to just skip the story. This is going to be over it. Let's have a look. Right, right. options. You've got the options of the difficulty of easy and hard. Yes. Um, basically you've got your audio settings, controls and language. We'll have a little look sort of inside there. Um, then we have a little mess around with some of the music. Yeah, so we've got, oh. yeah, we've got some music, sounds on and off, doesn't make a difference. Um, but yeah. I can't understand quite why you just decided to just stick it on an arm. And that now seems to be playing uh, a repetitive noise consistently. Yes. I'm quite interesting you can use the three button and six button controller with this. Can you? Yeah, we, a shame we right, we, we're using three button controllers here. Um, so it's a shame that we weren't using the six button controller pads because I feel that it might have made this brutally difficult game slightly easier. Don't be fooled by the fact that there is a hard and easy difficulty. Yeah. Three done. Three, yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you know what's uh, Choice of one or two pair. Of course, we have two pairs of days. So if we get both in on a action. Well, that's quite impressive. That's quite the nice. Mega standards. Got the spaceship coming down, dropping us off. Already getting vibes of what sort of Mega Drive game are you getting vibes of here? Um, top down, shoot up. Well, shooter aliens, I'll say alien storm, really. Alien storm, storm yeah, yes. okay, from, a, yes. from a, a side perspective with the aliens, yeah. yeah. I'm getting yeah. Predator 2. Predator 2, oh, yeah, yeah. I think I say that. Absolutely. Right, so you've got, um, obviously, the midget characters, aren't they? Yeah, they're quite small. That, that's, I suppose, where, you, where I can see the alien storm just mm. Um So we start with sort of, uh, like, alien style submachine guns. But the kicker is, is the ammo, isn't it? Yes. Yes, I've just noticed that. The ammo's going way down. I've run out. I'm out. I'm right, so he's like, alright, I'll, I'll take the box. Okay, I'll take it. Sorry, I'll okay. just uh, took the box. Okay. You know, fair enough. It's alright, we've run out of bad guys anyway. What's that down there? What's this? I don't know, like this teacher of lesson. Looks right. like somebody on there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a piece of custard, ooh, ooh, really. A shotgun. Right, this is getting a bit like uh, aliens now. Right, so the. Yes, I suppose it pays a lot of homage, doesn't it? Yeah. Now I've just sort of had niched a, a knife here, which, because um, I've run out of bullets. Oh, I see. Right. Slug. Slugs on that, when you, you know, when you get close to the enemy, you've got the option to sort of stab them. Right. Who are these guys? Daniel, is over in my corner. <laughs> Better make sure he's okay, quite by the aliens. I've got a question. Why don't they help you? Well, yeah, they one, grab a gun and <laughs> answer. Yeah. There's aliens awesome. around. Another thing. Yes. It's wild earth. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, that's oh, okay. Too much chat on that. Yes. Too much chat on that. Yes. Never mind. Um, but those aliens, wild earth, so continuing, we've got continues that are in the bottom left corner yeah. there. Three lives. Depleting. Down to two now. We've got this guy shooting at us. Again, shooting, you've got the ones that are coming towards you, little guys on the floor. Mm -hmm. And who is it who's tying up the hostages? Oh, yeah. Why? What are this doing? Why are they shooting at us and they're taking some of the sausages? <laughs> I don't understand that. They want us dead, but they want them as sausages. No, that's it. That's it. Oh, no more sausages. Kill anyone else now, all right? Yeah, anyone comes into the base. We've run out of room. Yeah. We, we can't We can't keep tying people up. But, 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 I've told you, Bill. Yeah. If you're with your fangs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Bob, with your, with your little... Tommy is a painful fuck. He's signed off for the night. He's gone. He's on a hot date tonight with a human. But um, <laughs> so you can't tell anyone else up. Can I? The fleshy human. <laughs> fleshy. <laughs> well, what do you think about the controls on this? I quite like it. So um, obviously you, you deep like pads. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the, the deep. Oh, who's this guy? Who looks like somebody else on there? God damn it! He's having a bad day, isn't he? All right, chuck your green out. Yeah. Shame, shame, shame. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, I'm oh god! I've, oh I've, god! I walked oh straight god. into a big fire block, man. It's, uh, it's what are they doing? They're walking all over us. Yeah. Right, so we still got some lives. She's a bit like Jill from the Right, where do we start off from? Oh, we went back straight into the game. That's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. I like that. Yeah. 
I said we died. We died. It is an incredibly hard game, folks. Uh, there's no escape. It's easy. Yeah. Are you sure we picked easy? I'm pretty sure we picked easy. Good God. Do you want to have a little try in one player mode? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. And I'll have a little chat about this at the game part. Okay. So what you expect. I'll go for it. I'll, uh, I'll pick this one. <laughs> right, okay. So basically, this game game, you get in 16 different variations of the cover. Uh, same game inside, of course. Uh, this one here is a cartridge we've heard earlier. Uh, this is the 
later Mega Drive style one, so from the Europe from 93 onwards, you would get this little blue banner at the bottom. What is a bit of a shame I find, I don't know whether you notice this, is the fact that it says 16-bit cart now rather than Mega Drive. Here yeah. it yeah. Down the spine. A bit what of a shame. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we've seen PSLR which has done Mega Drive for example. Yeah. So there's no real reason why this couldn't set it, and it would have really fit in nicely with the collection. However, the sleeve of this game is reversible, so you do actually have the original sort of black version of it uh, underneath, um, you know, the sort of checkered design. Inside the box itself, you get a nice sort of Xeno Crisis postcode, uh, postcard. Um, so, oh, that'd be the old postcodes. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to tell Oh, look at this. Wow. What game was that there? I have no idea about it picked up, and it seems pretty cool to me. That will kind of help you throughout the game if you just keep that going. Yeah, I think I would have held this before with, with, with multiple aliens. It's a bit like if this was Bad Max 2 and you were the feral kid, so <laughs> a gun form with your boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, book is really nice and thick, and um, I'd estimate that to be around about sort of 20 pages or so there. Um, and uh, the cartridge maybe is a slight left down because it is very much the sort of um, you know, Chinese shell, so you can get a bit of a slot on the side of it. Uh, but it is nice touches a bit of your on the back of it, which is the back of the game. That's, that's pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeah. Nice touch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice, it's got sort of nice sort of Mega Drive screws in the back of it as well, rather than just sort of like crossing screws, which you see on a lot of the uh, stuff. Um, so yeah, it's quite pleasing. Um, yeah, the back of the cover is your, your four pictures that you get with your latest Mega Drive games. So the four pictures that kind of collapse the back of the Mega Drive logo. Um, and you know, your 2018 trademark on there because this was a Kickstarter from 2017 that went to the early part of 2018. And now it's only in October, November of 2019 that the fruits of the labour of Kickstarter have started to come through. So um, I suppose a big thank you to Bitmap Bureau and that sense for not scanning everyone because you know that happens quite a lot of kids that are these games, you know, lofty ambitions. I'm gonna make this game to do it. Michael, I'm a uh, boss, big boss. <coughs> oh yeah, continue down there. Yeah. See what happens. See what happens. Must be as big as boss. The game's going to be harder if one player, do you find that? Um, it certainly is, yes, because you haven't really got the, uh, <laughs> obviously the two lots shooting at this, uh, this, this guy. Mm -hmm. um, obviously a lot easier to focus on just yourself, yeah. um, so you don't get those distractions. You've got a lot going on there. Oh, you did a bit of a wrong there. Yes, yes, press the A button. Oh, you can that though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which I find, because anything that hits you, if you walk into an alien, or you always go guns, hit you, you're dead. Right, yeah, okay. it takes a part of your life away. Yeah. But when you roll, you kind of... Well, you can evade the enemy fire, do you? Yeah, like, like Dark Souls. Right, okay. <laughs> in comparison. Yeah, as long as you roll, you're in the fight. Yeah. Right. You, you're you're debatable as well, mate. Well, yes. Cool. Yeah, you can get your ammo back, you get grenades. That is good. Ah, right, right, finish them Good. Yeah. <clears throat> right, you, you take over this bit. Alright. I'm going to rank E again. Mind you, I can't say much on it. So I think I think you go up the alphabet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Z must be really good. So we're getting that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So prices for this? Would you add the it? It's not too bad to be honest. For something such a new game, uh, Mega Drive. So if you are a fan, I'll say it's worth it. Um, boxed fifty-five. That's pretty good. Yeah. And unboxed forty. Which I think is quite strange. Unboxed. Yeah, I've probably seen a paper 55 in the fully box. Yes. This is a nice book. 100%. Yeah. 100%. I mean, you've got to look at the back of boxes. Yeah. In fact, you look at the time. It doesn't always keep its. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my time. god. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of babies. Yeah. I'm going to use those here at the moment right now. Yeah, okay. I've had time. Ooh. That's intense. Sure, that's a bit. And it's done. Apparently, there's 16 different versions of the. Uh, uh, yes, absolutely. But I, I think that's um, well, yeah, you know, it's reversible. So it's probably half that. Yes. Yeah, eight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I see. But that's all the versions. You were getting swamped by these things. I absolutely getting swamped. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sixteen different versions of uh, 
Um, dog tag's gone, lost it, lost a day. Oh um, my arm. Punch. Yeah. Punch to the alien and you're back in the game. That's it, back in. Oh, I don't want these again. At least you get a variety of uh, different aliens. You can find, like, like um, uh, Streets of Rage. Yeah. So you can always find that, like, the harder one, like, you know, the chicks with the swords and stuff like that. Yeah, and I might they, you know, they change sort of the, just the art style a little bit on the aliens as the levels go on. Mm. Um, sadly, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see any further because I'm down to my my here. So yes. uh, I'm going to die at some point in the very near future. We'll just see it. Um, but this is, you know, the levels are really cool. Um, right the way it flows together. I think it's just a real top game. Which is, yeah. I agree. It's really good. Graphically, is good. So it is. I, I do like how they do some of them anyway. Um, like quite quickly. Yeah. Which is, is what you need, really. Yeah, it's pretty cool strategically that you've got a one fine drama like you were saying. I love that. I yeah. love the Apple search. I really do. A lot of people I don't think will like it for, for a Mega Drive game. Yeah. Um, so, you know, so you have some people that you need to do that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm, I'm really enjoy that. And the different guns had an error an, an of yes. strategy to it, okay? Now, I've got this gun I'm using here. It's actually far more difficult than actually using my pulse rifle. Because um, you know, I've got to, I've got to sort of really aim it properly, whereas I can sort of skew around these guys a little bit, yeah. uh, just to buy myself a little more time, which I do like. I like that you are keeping a bit of strategy, nice, one of those guns again, yeah. um, and keeping your, uh, your grenades. Yeah, well, if I make it to the boss, then... Yeah, uh, exactly. Because me, if I saw one of those, I'd panic and panic oh, and grenades to try to get them all dispatched. Um, but yeah, right for you because uh, there you are. I'm not sure if you like oh, okay, that was last life. That's it. And, um, I'm not trying to enjoy it. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that game. If I was going to rate it, I would give this um, probably uh, 8 out of 10. Nice. Where would you give it? I would have to agree with that, 8 out of 10, definitely. Well worth seeking out. Yeah. Um, you can get it from bitmapbureau.com. And um, yeah, support your independent developers so they can go on and make more and more products um, and sort of, you know, improve over time. It's worth doing just for that, just to see what else they can bring out. So it's, that's got to be worth it, surely. There's a Dreamcast version of it as well, should you feel the need to. Nice. And it is actually on current gen consoles as well. So I think there's a Switch version of it. I'm pretty sure there's probably a PS4 port as well. God, it's like an upcoming era of, of Sega, really, isn't it? I mean, you've got your Shamu coming out, so you've got. You've got the, the old Disney ones coming out, so you, you, know, you still get your Mega Drive games. It's beautiful. I like it. What a time to be alive. Yes, it certainly is. Right, okay, we'll catch this in the next episode. Um, catch on our previous episodes on our channel, and inevitably you'll see us play an old game for uh, you know, new game for your old system sometime soon. And as always, thank you for watching. See you soon.